Hello again. Uh, working with the law of sines, where we're going to have a special case here. It's an ambiguous case where we have two solutions. And, you know, still the same formula. And what I have to do in order to check to make sure that this is actually going to work is I take the uh, sine of 39 degrees and I multiply it by b. And I've got to make sure that it's less than a. Uh, if that's the case, then this is going to work. If, if sine of uh, 39 degrees times you know, this is more than it, then you're going to have no solution anyways. So that's a one way to check right away. You know, take the sine of this times this, better be less than this. If it's not, you got yourselves a problem. In fact, it is. I know that the sine of A, I don't know, that's 0.707, so it's got to be less than 0.707 times 14 is going to be less than 10 because, uh, well, let me go ahead and check. But I know that anyways. Sine of 39 degrees is 0.629. So that's pretty close, times 14, is like 8.8. .8, and 8.8 .8 is less than 10. So it's a, you know, nothing that we really have to work on here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. I'm not going to draw a triangle yet. Actually, what I want to do is probably split this into two lessons, then draw a triangle afterwards. See how we do this. So we're going to try with the sine of A over A, because we're going to try to solve for B first. We can't solve anything for C. There's no chance. So sine of 39 degrees over 10 equals sine of b, which I don't actually know, over 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for uh, sine of b, or get sine of b by itself and solve for b. I'm a little lazy here and I'm not going to show this step. I've already done that on the previous lesson, so I'm a little tired of doing that. We're going to cross multiply these, so it's 14 times sine of 39 degrees. And then we're going to get 10 times the sine of b, and we're going to, there's a 10 here, but we're going to divide 10 on both sides. So actually the sine of b is all this, 14 times sine of 39 divided by 10. And I don't know what the sine of 39 degrees is, like I said, well, actually I do, because I go went ahead and I plugged it into the check. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide by 10. And when I do that, I get 0.88, approximately 0.88. So the sine of b... Is approximately, I shouldn't put an equal, but it's approximately 0.88. If I want to figure out B, what I do is I take the inverse of both sides. And I'm going to go ahead and put my answer up there after I show this step. So I take the inverse. Remember, it's not the reciprocal, it's the inverse of this. Your answer for your degree is going to vary because I didn't round because I rounded this, it's not a perfect answer, but it's going to be the best I can possibly do. So when I take the inverse sign of 0.88, I get 61.6. 61.6, um, in my opinion, rounds to 62 degrees. I like doing that with degrees because I think that it's just very interesting. Uh, there is something else to note, though. And I'll get to it just in case anybody's watching this and they say, wait a minute, isn't there something? Yeah, there is something else. So B equals 62 degrees. That's actually not the only answer that it could equal. The inverse sine of 0.88 is not only 62 degrees, but it's 180 minus 62 degrees because the sine value, 0.88, could be on this quadrant or it could be on this quadrant. And in that case, that deals with reference angles. And we did talk about reference angles. So in that case, it would be 180 minus 62 degrees. So this could actually be 118 degrees. It's not only just 62 degrees. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this problem out. So, Something for you to keep in mind, because we've got to go ahead and we've got to fix that up. But this is not only 62 degrees, it's actually 118 degrees as a possible solution. We're not going to assume that. So this is 39 degrees, and this is 62 degrees. And that adds up to 40 plus 60, which is 100, which is 102, which is 101. So it actually adds up to 101 degrees, which means C is 79 degrees. Without any work, you figured out what C was. Now, what a lot of students do, actually, and I forgot to bring this up in a previous lesson, is they try using the Pythagorean theorem here. and say, oh, I know what C is. I just use the Pythagorean theorem. No, 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 no. That doesn't work. That only works on 90-degree triangles. This is not a 90-degree or right-angle triangle. So what I actually have to do is use the sign, the law of sines in order to figure it out. When I do that, I'm like, okay. I, I have to use the sine of C over C because I'm trying to figure out what one of my sides is. And then the students ask, well, which one should I use? And I say, it doesn't really matter, but since none of these are rounded, use that one. It's just going to give you the most accurate answer possible. So I go ahead and I do that. 
foolish me. I should have just plugged in the values. Sine of 79 degrees over C, which I don't know, equals sine of A, which is 39 degrees over 10. So I'm going to cross multiply to get the C by itself. So when I cross multiply, I get sine of 39 degrees times C, eh, do it once, equals sine of 79 degrees times 10. Get the C by itself, divide by sine of 39 degrees. That's what I was talking about. I actually wrote that step out. Usually I don't. After a while. So you have to go ahead and you have to figure out what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but I can tell you for a fact that it's got to be bigger than 14 because 79 degrees is bigger than 72. That's all I can really tell you. Why I say that is very simple. If you get something smaller than 14, then you know you did it wrong. So it's just a good uh, reference point. Sine of 79 degrees is about 0.98. Ooh, that's pretty big actually, times 10. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide by the sine of 39 degrees, two parentheses to close it off, and I get 15.59. You probably couldn't see that anyways from here. 15.59 is 15.6 when I round it. So that's approximately 15.6. Now, we're going to continue from this step right here. I'm going to go ahead and erase this on the next lesson and show you. I don't, I'm probably not going to have time to show you the other one. But, so, you know, we're going to have to look at that later. So, these are the values given that B is 62 degrees. But B can also be um, 118 degrees as well. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and look at the next lesson if you want to see the other solution. Uh, with that said, have a good day for now. Goodbye.